The fast food business is ratcheting up its trend toward healthy food choices. But are these new retooled Whoppers and lattes really good for you? Let's ask nutritionist Tanya Zuckerbrot, founder of SkinnyAndTheCity.com. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? This is kind of exciting news. A lot of big new trends out there in the fast food world. And I read about this. This was in all the papers last week. It was. That Kentucky Fried Chicken, they call it KFC because they don't want people to think about fried, but it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, has introduced a brand new chicken. Yeah. That's really different, right? This is it right here. What is the, what's the difference? Well, what they've done, rather than frying it, they're actually mm. baking it, but they're keeping all the inherent taste of like those seasonings mm. on the chicken. Right. So the taste is somewhat similar, but the caloric difference is really staggering. Is it skinless too? It looks like No, it's not skinless. No. The skin's on. Okay. Um, and to save calories even further, you could peel off the skin, but let's start with this because two pieces of this baked chicken is right. 360 calories and eight grams of fat, which is very reasonable. This is the new one. This is yes. the new one. Okay. Especially when you compare it, 740 calories, 42 grams of fat. Dude. Now, that's a huge savings of over 380 calories. You yeah. could practically have double the amount. Right. So maybe the idea then would be to just eat a lot more of that. and then. <laughs> but so this is interesting because this is good and we're always in love with that old-fashioned fried chicken. This is this is makes a lot well, more Well, it's, it's a healthier choice, and I think what we're going to be seeing in this downturn economy, mm -hmm. a lot of people are turning to fast food for a few reasons. One, it's comfort food, right? Comfort food, and we all like to feel comfort, right. comforted during these times. But right. the other thing is is that there is an economic you know incentive to go because it's low cost and a lot of food, but mm -hmm. we're paying the price. Right. It's very short sighted. So yeah. I think the fact that these fast food companies are right. now offering healthier options mm -hmm. um, is doing a great service. You got to see whether or not service. people eat them. I remember McDonald's introduced like a something, grass burger, 100 years ago, and people said, nah, forget well, it. Well, I think also, think about a lot of parents who go, they take their kids for fast food meals, mm -hmm. especially moms on the go. These are really great alternatives so that the whole family can eat there. Mm. It smells so good. Okay, uh, what is this? There are new right. drinks out there, right? Exactly. Speaking is, of McDonald's. Yeah, right. So McDonald's now has this McCafe, and what they're doing is that they are competing with some of the more fancy coffee shops that are out there. Uh -huh. And they're actually and have they're fresh, they have fresh beans in house that they're actually grinding. On this too. Espresso machines. So what's this drink? Well, this we have an ice, a sugar free vanilla ice latte made with skim milk, mm -hmm. only 110 calories. Right. So if you want something cold and you're at McDonald's, right. Right. this is a great option because the triple thick chocolate shake. Right. You're talking 1,060 calories. That's a thousand calorie saving yeah. here. <laughs> so how many how many calories in a giant chocolate shake? 1,160 calories, 29 grams of fat versus 110 in this. Think about that. Let's leave the graphics down for a second because we need to talk about this. What is this? Okay, so. Burger King has introduced a Whopper bar, and at their Whopper bars, they have over 22 different toppings. Mm -hmm. So this is really, yeah. um, you know, making your own kind right. of fast food. It, it's really making it uh, elevating fast food into right. something that you can tailor to your specific taste. So if you don't load it up with cheese and all this other stuff, what kind of calories are we talking about? Well, we're talking here 575 calories versus the triple Whopper here, right. 1,250 calories. And look at some of the toppings that you can get: grilled onions, guacamole. Right. I mean, this is hard healthy yeah. the spice in the jalapenos All right, let's look at the difference and then the difference is and the survey says 675 calories 61 grams of fat all right, that's really okay. All right, finally, what is this? <laughs> and here we finally have Burger King. I mean, excuse me, Pizza Hut. Right. And Pizza Hut has introduced a pizza that they call the natural, no artificial flavors or preservatives. Mm -hmm. They have a multi-grain crust. This right. has an extra gram of fiber. I now, think that I think that sounds to me like something that sounds better than it actually is. No, it's actually pretty good. And yeah. it's surprisingly, the calories are somewhat similar. It's only a 10 calorie savings, but you are getting an extra gram of fiber. And for people who want to mm -hmm. eat naturally, they don't mm -hmm. want anything artificial. This is definitely the way to go. Here's your lovely party. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much.